Hello! So much has changed since the last time I made a video, which was yesterday. But uh, the whole thing kind of changed a little bit, and I'll tell you why. Uh, Alien Worlds just became way more profitable. And let me tell you why. So before, the coin, the TLM coin, which is the official coin of the Alien Worlds, was all over the place. Alright, so if we check it go down a little bit look at this six dollars on and on no exchanges kind of fucking weird and then you got at the Binance the actual price came about which is which was 50 cents and now it's gone up to 60 it's 62 so in the first video that I made where I had five TLM and I went to the exchange to see if I could exchange it I got for that five TLM like 0.5 wax and now if i go with the 24 i get 55 so it's two vax per tlm now which is quite the fucking price increase so whenever you just mine one tlm you're not just mining you know like five or ten cents as it was before now it's like 60 cents and that's pretty good i also looked up more on what I should mine, where I should mine. But before I get into that, in the last video, because you know you start out with you get your basic face and you get a basic shovel, which is you know not the best, but hey, it's for free and it's something. So I wanted to boost myself, and I used a hundred dollars to buy one power saw and one uh, gas rig extractor, whatever the fuck. So I bought these two, and then yesterday while mining the lands, I got another power saw and another standard shovel so basically i made half the money back because the power saw is like 58 60 dollars and i'm sure it's gonna go up in price so then i bought two standard drills because i saw in some dude's video where he goes really into the fucking math and details and shit that actually this is better for nfts than the power saw for some reason so uh yeah i went with that as well and I also got a shit shit weapon, but hey, it's also a start. So that's uh, my progress. The TLM mining going much better now. I had like 60, and I sold a bunch so I can buy the tools, and I still have uh, 44 VAX left, which is $11, and still 24 coins, which I will trade now just to show how easy it is. So after you're done mining, let me do it one more time. So... These are the lands. Now I'm mining on this one. More because it has a good TFT uh, multiplier. Uh, TFT. NFT multiplier. One of the best because 2.5 is the maximum that I saw so far. And the charge multiplier is not that big. So I won't have to wait that long after I mine then the other ones that would give lower NFT chances. Right? And the TLM mining... Chances are also pretty decent for the multiplier, so uh, this is a prime location. So I'm going to mine, and let's see how that works out. Just, uh, just got to wait in silence. Not awkward at all. Oh, there we go. Claim. I have to approve it, of course, because for some reason it doesn't... Let me just... I have to verify it every fucking time, man. Yeah, I know what stairs are. I'm not a fucking robot. Although I'm pretty sure a robot would know what stairs are. All right, and 1.1 TLM. That's like, you know, almost 70 cents, right? It's pretty fucking good. And I can mine every half hour. So I can mine for 70 cents at current prices every hour. And then I have uh, this shit. I'm going to update it. I think it did already. Um, oh, wait, okay, so I have to connect it again, just because I refreshed it. All right, I'm in, let it load, let it load. Okay, so, 25.1, 57, swap it, and I have to confirm it. Again, not a robot, nope, not me. I know what chimneys are, I'm so smart. And that's it, it swapped, so now if I go to my Vax Cloud Wallet, Instead of 44, now I have 102, which is the value of $26. Pretty fucking good. 
So uh, yeah, and usually if you get an NFT, you should get a message that hey, you got uh, you got an NFT. But I never got one. I'm assuming they're gonna fix that. So let me refresh this as well. I'm assuming they're gonna fix that in the future, but I don't get notifications. So what I just do is just go to my inventory and see if anything new appeared. I'm gonna do that as soon as I log in. Any day now. All right, so back to zero. No problem, I'll just get more and no new NFTs. So sad. All right, well, that's that. I mean, that's my progress so far. Big news, much, much better to mine now. And I would invest also if you have, like, again, $100. And you can buy the two tools that just give you you know, at least 0.5 um, TLM, which is 30 cents per mining. And you can set it on a lower time multiplier and higher TLM mining. And uh, you make the biggest buck, but I'm also mining for NFTs. So, uh, yeah, but they're still currently still pretty low. And the prices just keep going up. Like, look at the power saw. Oops, okay, well... Um, let me find a new one, I guess. Go on, then. So yesterday, when I bought it, it was uh, $55. And now it's at 80 80 80 Look at that. And the prices keep going up because the game is still new and a lot of people are just finding out about it now because it just appeared on CoinGecko as well and made some noise. It's already rank 111, which is pretty fucking insane. And yeah, price is going up and people buying more and more. So it's up to 80 now from $2, 3 Yeah, that's, that's a pretty fucking good increase. So, again, the game doesn't require so that you invest, but if you invest now, I think it would be a pretty good opportunity, or at least that's what I did. And yeah, I, I think that's it. Uh, there's no more reason for me to go on. <laughs> so I'll just keep mining and see if you know any other big update comes out or if I find so many good NFTs or whatever the fuck I can post another update video on. But this was just about the price and how it's way more profitable now and very worth it to get it in now. Um, peace out.